I was just so rude to myself in the store. I went shopping and while I was in the dressing room, I told myself that I'm an old fat loser. I used to talk to myself like that all the time and just let myself get away with it. In fact, I would go into the spiral. I'd be like, okay, here we're going. Dive head first into the spiral and just embrace it. We don't do that anymore. I acknowledge that I'm having these thoughts. I'm like, oh, I'm being really rude. I say that I was standing in that dressing room with my friend and my friend told me that. Baby, old? What are you talking about? You're in the prime of your life. This is beautiful season. Every season of life, every phase of life is beautiful if you just like accept it for what it is and stop trying to hold on to the past season. This phase is gorgeous because like, you have these two small children that just adore you, that love you. You have a husband that adores you. You finally have enough money <laughs> to do more things. Whereas like whenever you're younger, you're just struggling to survive and making some stupid decisions. We're on a better path now. You're not old, you're young mom. It has young right there in the name. Fat? What? What? Your body went through so much in the past two and a half years and you expect it to just look perfect anyway. To just not have to have any sort of recovery? That's ridiculous. Also, um, baby, you're pregnant. Again, this is your fifth pregnancy in four years and you're doing the work. You're eating healthier more times than you ever have in your life. Your relationship with food is finally improving. You're exercising and not in this crazy obsessive way where it's like, oh, I'm not gonna eat, I'm just gonna exercise and set. No, 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 you're not doing that anymore. You're doing it in a good, healthy way. You're putting in that work. Loser, are you freaking joking right now? I realize. You only really thought that because you heard all the young girls next door in the dressing room together giggling and laughing and having a great time while you were over there alone. But that's okay. Again, like you're in a different phase of life. That was a great phase. It's a beautiful phase. But you're still in a different phase. That doesn't mean that you're a loser just because you're going shopping by yourself. That's okay. It's okay. We're secure enough to do that. But a loser wouldn't be waking up, getting dressed every single day, hitting the gym, making sure that they eat healthy along with their kids, taking care of their kids, making sure their kids go outside. And then on top of that, having this side hustle. Like what? It's ridiculous that you would even go there. Just don't, don't hit me with that. That's how we talk to ourselves now. We talk to ourselves like we're talking to a friend. We don't sit there and just embrace the spiral and just dive head first into it. If you've just been letting you talk to you that way, it needs to stop. You need to realize what you're doing and to correct it, honey bear. Just, you are worth so much more than that. And if you don't do it for you, at least do it for your daughter or your future daughter, so that way she can learn from example of how to self-correct. How to be like, oh wait, no, 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 that's not how we talk to ourselves. No, 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 this is how we talk to ourselves. Because that is a very important skill to learn as a woman. You gotta learn how to talk to yourself and how you're not allowed to talk to yourself. And then if you know how to talk to yourself, you won't let other people talk to you a certain way either. Anyway, you're worth more than jewels. Love you.